you know, I think in the past we don't we necessarily don't win those games uh, for certain reasons. Um, I think that's a credit to these guys at this table. I think it's a credit to those guys, uh, you know, these players. Um, defense answered the bell time and time again. We put them on short fields. I think maybe the maybe the drive of all the drives was was when we turned the ball over and they held them to a field goal. And then uh, obviously the drive at the end of the game to let us go ahead was was huge. Um, super proud of our effort. Um, another thing I'm proud of is we were able to go in there and, and be a little more multiple than what we normally are throwing and, and running the ball. And uh, all in all, great team win. Good, you know, good job on specials. I think if there's only any downfall, it might have been the penalties. We had too many penalties. But uh, all in all, I'm happy with the win. I'm happy. I'm, I'm extremely happy with these young men and, uh, and these players. Talk about TJ's performance, and then also uh, Darius had a had a big sure. day of defense. Um, first of all, TJ. I mean, it is what it is. You guys saw the game. I mean, he. Um, he, st he when we needed to play, he made it. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna brag on him a little bit because I know that TJ will take and he's, he's humble. But you know, we, we go when TJ goes, and uh, I think everybody in the stands knows that. So uh, I'm super proud of him. I'm super proud of the leader, and, and he, he he showed he was a winner today. today. Uh, for Darius, hey, another thing too about Darius, the last two weeks he's been playing the game for us defensively. Um, him making that pick at the end of the game is just a staple of a good three weeks uh, that he's had for the Lopers, and you know. Eight more to go, right? Let's go. All right. Uh, Darius, take us through those final couple drives for you. Because you had a bad pass, uh, the second to last one, to hold him to a field goal. What, what did you guys sort of Whoa, maybe feel on that drive or, or sort of see on that drive that allowed you to really play better that final drive coming away with that pick? So on that last drive, we uh, having an offense get a good score for us and put us up. We knew that we had to play smart and keep everything inbounds. And we just knew that they was going to take some deep shots and we was able to capitalize on that. That bad pass for you, the second to last drive, did, did that kind of give you a, a little more momentum or juice knowing that you know you guys were that much closer to making it? Yeah, we knew that we just had to hold it because it, like, it was an awful situation they had put in by D, but we knew we got to keep him out the end zone and we held him three, so he gave us some momentum going into that. Okay, just tell me one of the words that you need because I can't hear you. DJ, DJ? Okay. Yeah. Just let me know. Oh. TJ, how many of the, those plays were called runs, how many were you were just reading and deciding? Um, to be honest, a lot of them was RPO. So like I could either throw it or keep it. So if they was going out, I could keep it. Um, that's uh I think that's one thing that we actually established that I missed a couple and I'm hard on myself about that, but I know I'm gonna fix that next week. But um we know that we can hit them, take them little uh we can take some shots or just hit the uh, little check downs and that's what we did today and when they started flying out it was a crease up the middle and that's what we uh executed on today. Coach, what's this what's this win mean this was a battle today uh, as you kind of alluded to earlier these are the type of games that maybe haven't been able to pull out in the past did, did you look at it what was the difference today you know say what you want i think we're bigger and physically up front we're, we're more physical up front on both sides of the ball offensive line defensive line and not only that we've got young men in our program that are bought in i mean they come to work every single day and uh, you know it's fun to go out and coach when, when we go when we go out there and we have great days of practice all week long and uh, you know we've been doing the same thing now for four years you know five if you count the COVID year and these guys know what we're doing I hope you know I believe we're playing with you know a lot of excitement a lot of confidence and I think the big reason is that because we've been doing the same thing and there's been some stability and you know you got as a program you got to get over the hump somewhere and I think being consistent sure does help with that. Wasn't a great start today. No. This was, you know, reminiscent, reminiscent a couple of years ago, but you guys came right back. Right, and you know, I think that, you know, maybe that game in 19 would prepare us for this. You know what I'm saying? We went out and laid an egg in 2019, and, and Washington, give them credit, they got all over us. They beat, they beat, and they're a good football team now. I give them a lot of credit today. Um, but I told the guys all week long, I mean, I think certain things prepare you for certain games. I think that might have had some impact on what we did today. Got a question here for TJ real quick. Uh, your day to day, uh, you did it again Up through the air on the ground. What was kind of your mindset on that uh, last drive? Uh, really, I knew <clears throat> coach trusted me to put my team in the right position. So I just honestly just went through my reads. I didn't try to do nothing spectacular. Just make sure I go through my reads and it happened how it happened. How did you guys bounce back from not being disappointed? Because on the drive before that, you got stopped. It was yep. second, third, and short, and fourth you couldn't convert, and then you came right back with a 65-yard drive. 
Uh, I think that's a credit to us trusting our defense. That's one thing that we always want to pride ourselves. We call each other family, and we believe by that. And I just want to give a uh, uh, shout out to Darius for getting a big stop. Uh, that's a huge play for our team, and that uh, that definitely gave us a, a momentum push. Let's get Darius into this for just a second. You you had the big pick at the end, but you also were making some plays throughout the day. What were you guys thinking on that uh, last drive as Washburn hit you right away with a 25-yarder to, to get it midfield, and it was on? Uh, we know we just knew that we had to bend but don't break, so we knew they was going to get some yards on us, and we just had to rally from anything that they get and then keep them out there, and then we was able to do that. How did you guys stay grounded this week? Because you were ranked for the first time in 10 years. You're starting to get some praise. TJ, there's there's stories in the World Herald and Lincoln Journal Star about you. Uh, how did you guys kind of keep it level and, and be ready to play a good game today? Um, I'll say credit to Coach Land for that. Uh, he makes sure that we're not too high on anything we do. Like he said, our, we read in the paper, like he liked being underdogs. Like that's one thing that we pride ourselves on. We've never been ranked as far as I've been here. So we just play football, go out like, like we have nothing to lose. So we just go out and execute, uh, good things will happen. All right, congratulations to you guys. Appreciate you. your time. Lopers win this one today over Washburn. It was a battle as everyone will score their last possession.